everybody, it's Matt from Eastwood Company. We're at day two of the SEMA show uh, 2014. And a lot of the cars you see around here, super shiny, all done up, everybody's detailing them. But a lot of them, they didn't start out that nice. Uh, we're here with Damien, an Eastwood customer that brought out one of his projects that has a really cool story. And uh, that's you know part of the way done, but still uh, is really, really cool. And we wanted to hear the story about the car. So Damien, thanks for letting us check out the car. This car I bought when I was in college, but I just couldn't afford it at the time to fix it up. Mm -hmm. It ended up going into the garage at my house for close to 10 years. Oh, wow. In 2006, I opened an exotic auto dealership. Oh, cool. I sold exotic cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris. And while purchasing a car, I got hit by a car, got a brain injury, and broke 12 discs in my back. Wow. The doctor found out that I still had this car and uh, motivated me to work on it uh, to kind of come familiar with uh, things from the past. That's why the, the project's named Doctor's Orders, oh, cool. uh, yeah. because the doctor basically ordered me to uh, build this car. Uh, he said, try to put tires on it, try to change the oil and it just snowballed into what you see now. And I'm just so lucky and uh, grateful to have uh, Eastwood and all the sponsors to help me with this project. Pretty soon the car, she should be back next year, 2015, uh, fully candy painted. Uh, what kind of stuff have you already repaired, you know? Uh, we did some repairs on the doors starting with uh, Eastwood's lead kit. Okay. And then because of the time restriction, we just patina the car so then we could show it at the this year, SEMA, take right. it back to the shop and uh, get her started again. Right, so the patina preserver, for anybody that's not familiar, is obviously gonna keep it from flash rusting, from you know rolling around and everything like that. And it seems to be doing a pretty good job so far. Uh, the engine came out of a 1965 Corvette. Okay. It originally had a two barrel on there, mm -hmm. but we put the Edelbrock uh, four barrel intake with MSD's Atomic, and cool. then Atomic uh, MSD's uh, distributor and all their goodies, air cleaner, and a lot of the dress-up kits all from yep. CFR. Now the trunk, I saw when you open that up, that's starting to come along pretty good. What's uh, What did you use to get the effect in the, in the trunk area? Uh, we used your splatter, Eastwood splatter uh, okay. uh, paint, so it could be sealed. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, we'll be able to go out to the shows and throw whatever we need in there, suitcases, and, right. and not uh, uh, mess up the trunk or any of the paint. Very cool. Well, that sounds like it's going to be pretty awesome when it's done, and we can't wait to see it next year and hopefully catch up with you so we can really show the transformation of, uh, you know, uh, what it takes to bring these cars from start to finish here at CMS. So thanks, Damien. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you, and thank you uh, so much to Eastwood for all the help. No problem at all. Thanks a lot.